Yeah, Lauren, I mean, it was just two weeks ago, Monday, that dozens, if not thousands, rather, of students on the campus of UNC Chapel Hill, they were gathered together, they were barricading themselves and in hiding, trying to stay safe from a shooter there on campus. But some of those same students were here in front of the General Assembly today, out in the open, calling for change, saying something must be done. It was two weeks ago when UNC students were living through an active shooter situation on campus. Those tense and frightening moments in Chapel Hill leading them here, steps in front of the General Assembly calling for change. We want the General Assembly to pass common sense gun legislation. We demand action now. If we can save even one child's life, then we need to do something. Students from March for Our Lives UNC Chapel Hill, Cary and Greensboro, UNC Young Democrats, College Democrats of North Carolina and NC State Students Demand Action all met in solidarity for change a change in gun control legislation from North Carolina lawmakers, and among them, a survivor from the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School mass shooting in Parkland, Florida in February of 2018. We know the vast majority of people in North Carolina, the vast majority of the American people support stronger gun laws. The reason we're not able to pass gun laws is not because they don't have public support. It's because the public is not supported by their own state legislature that needs to gerrymander them out of power. And one by one, these handmade signs tell an all too familiar story for students. Wondering whether my friends were safe, fearing whether if the shooter came into our room, I would have no way out. These students, the voices of the next generation with a message that enough is enough. This ends now. We take to the streets. And I reached out to the North Carolina GOP for a response to the comments that were directed at them earlier today. Uh, they responded by, uh, to my request by saying that they simply have no comment. We're live in downtown Raleigh tonight. Dewan Hogarth, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.